Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. How are you guys? I wish you are good. Today we'll talk about grade six math project. And as you can see, our project is about 3D solids. Solids are classified into two kinds, prisms or pyramids. The prism has two paces parallel to each other, but the pyramid has only one pace and one top. Let us start with first shape. Here we have this first shape. This is rectangular prism, as you can see. We need to know how many faces, how many edges, and how many verses does the rectangular prism have. As you can see here now, in a rectangular prism, how many faces it has. If you unfold this, you can count now easy six faces. We, it has six faces, okay? And this shape in front of you, it's called the net of the rectangular prism. This is the net of rectangular prism. If you fold it again, let us count how many faces, you know, we have six faces, each two opposite faces are congruent. They have the same area. How many edges does the rectangular prism have? From the definition of edges, it's line segment where two faces intersect. So if we count here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So the rectangular prism, it has 12 edges and six faces. How many verses? The vertex is the point where several edges meet. So we have here, this one is vertex, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight vertices. So we can say we have six faces, 12 edges and eight vertices. And the net of rectangular prism is a plane figure pattern, which when folded makes this rectangular prism. Unfolded, you will find in this shape, six faces like this. And you can bring it from internet. You can find many shapes. Here we have the volume. The volume is given for you the formula of volume. This is length times width times height. It's given for you the height, the width, and length four and two over five, which is 4.4. Why? Because two over five is four over 10, which can be written as 0 0.4. So it's a 4.4. Now we will just substitute in this uh, formula, volume equals length, which is 4.4 times five times 11.7. And this result would be in cubic centimeter. Why cubic centimeter? Because we are dealing with volume. Service area is two length times width plus length times height plus width times height. Why? If you assume that you have here this length, width and the height. So this base, its area is length times height. And this face, its area is length times height. And this face, its area, it's width times height. So we have two of this and two of this face and two of this face. We can say we have two of all, okay? So now you can substitute two times 11.7 times five plus 11.7 times 4.4 .4 plus five times 4.4, .4. calculate this all in square centimeter. Why square centimeter? Because we are dealing with area. Second shape we have is square pyramid. As we said, pyramids are named regarding to its base. Here we have the base is a square, so we name it square pyramid. This is the shape of square pyramid, as you can see now in front of you like Egyptian pyramids. It's space in a shape of a square, so we name it square pyramid. If you unfold this pyramid, you have this the net of the pyramid. This is the net of the square pyramid. As you can see, it has five faces, the base in a shape of a square, and side faces in a shape of triangles. If you fold it again, now you have this solid. This is a square pyramid, okay? How many edges does it have? Let us count. We have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the square pyramid, it has five faces and eight edges. How many vertices? We have one, two, three, four, five vertices. This called the top, okay? And we have five vertices. So how many faces? We said we have five faces. One of them is a face, which is a square, and four faces in a shape of triangle. Eight edges and five vertices. And it, you can search Google. It's in the shape of square, which is base. And now we have four faces in the shape of triangles, like this. This is called the net of the square berm. The formula, here we have third B square H. We have here two heights, the height of the uh, pyramid itself, which is here inside and perpendicular on the base, and the height of the face, which is triangle, because you know the area of triangle is half base times height. This base and this height of the triangle, which is perpendicular on this base. So now in the volume, we would use the height of the pyramid which is eight. So substitute now volume equals one third B square, any number square mean the number of times itself. So B here is 12. So it's 12 square or 12 times 12, which is 144 times the height, which is eight. Find the result and at last this in cubic centimeter, as we said, why? Because we are dealing with volume. Surface area is a sum of area of all faces. So this is square, its area side length times itself. Side length is B, so its area is square B because B times itself. And for each triangle, its area half base times height. So we have four of this, four of half base times height plus the area of the square. Just you will substitute surface area equals 12 square, plus four times 12 times 10. Why 10? Here the height is 10 because this is the height of the triangle, not the height of the pyramid, divided by two. And find this result in a square centimeter. Why square centimeter? Because we are dealing with area. Third shape we have the cylinder. As you can see here, the cylinder has two paces in a shape of circle, it has height. Its height is the distance from the two parallel paces. We call it height of the cylinder. And the cylinder has three faces, two of them in a shape of circle, but one of them in a shape of rectangle. It's a curved face. So you would find the net of cylinder like a rectangle and it has two circles. So how many faces do we have? Three faces. How many edges? It has only two edges, this edge and this edge. It has two edges, but no vertices. Why? Because no edges meet each other. The volume formula is pi r square h. What is pi? Pi as given, it's a 3.14. And this is the ratio between the circumference and diameter of the circle. If you have a circle, this is center of circle, the distance from the center to any point on the circle, we call it R, radius. 2R, it's called D, which is diameter. So diameter is the distance from two points on the circle passing through the center. Circumference is the length around the circle. So if we divide circumference by diameter, we'd find it constant. This constant, we call it pi. And this pi equals 22 over seven or 3.14. Now we would use it like 3.14. So volume of the cylinder is pi, which is 3.14 times R square, which is the radius 2.1, it's a given square it multiplied by itself so 2.1 by 2 times height the height which is the distance between the two parallel paces this is height h 
which is given here 10. So multiply it by 10. And now calculate all of this in cubic centimeter. Why cubic centimeter? Because it's volume. The surface area is the area of the three faces. We have here three faces, two circles. This circle, its area is pi square r. So we have here pi square r and here pi square r. So we have two pi square r, this area of two faces. If you notice here, this face in a shape of rectangle, its length is h, which is the height of the cylinder. And its width is the same like circumference of the circle, which is two by r. So the area of this face, length times width, which is two by r h. Now we will substitute in this formula, area equals two, times 3.14 times 2.1, which is R, times the height 10, plus 2 times 3.14 times 2.1 all square, and find the result in square centimeter. Why square centimeter? Because we are dealing with area. Then we have some questions you would solve by yourself after doing your project and then you can send me the project. Thank you for watching. I hope you understand. If you have any questions, write in a comment or ask me during live session. See you.